Hey there, it's Peter here from Full Spectrum Performance, and today we're making granola! It's a favorite of mine, it's so legit, it's super easy. Not to mention, it's a perfect replacement for cereal, which I'm gonna show you my favorite way to prep it once we wrap up this one. Mm -mm -mm. So, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, now the ingredients to our granola recipe. We have four cup of oats. Mind you, these are not instant oats. That's going to mess up this recipe, so be mindful to get the raw. Half a cup of pumpkin seeds, half a cup of sunflower seeds, one tablespoon of flaxseed meal, and one tablespoon of chia seeds. Now here we have a half teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of cinnamon. I like mine on that extra cinnamony side with that flavor, but if it's too much for you, go ahead and reduce this to a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon. Just toss all this in here and give it a good mix. And don't worry if the heavy stuff falls to the bottom while you're mixing. It's going to get mixed in thoroughly with the wet ingredients once we add them. Over here we have a half cup of coconut oil, one third cup of maple syrup with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's go ahead and mix everything here and give it a really good stir until everything is fully coated. Feel free to throw whatever seeds and nuts you want in. Getting something like a mixed variety of nuts is always a solid go-to, but most importantly, just ensure that you mix everything well here. Now sweetener wise, you can also use honey. I'm not a fan of using agave because it changes the cook time and taste, and it's not really my style for this type of recipe. So now that this is all mixed, we're going to clean some things up and get our granola ready to bake. Here we're using a 16 by 22 inch pan, check out the link in the description if you don't have one, and we're going to cover it with a layer of parchment paper, which is going to help you transfer this into the container you're going to be using later, and it's going to make sure things are nice and clean. Now use a nice flexible spatula so you can get everything off the sides of the bowl, and per dried fruit, like raisins, craisins, whatever you're looking for, we're going to prep that while this is in the oven. Just ensure that you make one flat even layer as you're spreading this out onto the pan. Once you have your granola spread out nice and evenly, we're going to throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just check on it every now and then. I like mine on the crunchy side, so I go a little bit more than the 20 minutes. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's your granola. You do you, boo. Bam. There we have it. Let's go and toss this in the oven. All right, now that our granola is done, you know I like my synchronicity time. So this was in the oven for 22 minutes exactly. Now you're going to want to let this rest for at least 45 minutes. This has already been sitting for 20 minutes and it's still warm to the touch and also slightly firm. And I'm just going to add my half cup of raisins in it to give it a good mix. As things cool and continue to solidify, those raisins are going to stick to the granola. So don't worry about it if it doesn't look like things are sticking right now. Just give it some time, especially when you put it in those containers. It's going to be all compacted and compressed and the sugars and everything are almost going to act like glue and stick to one another. Now, if you're looking to make granola bars or a certain desired shape, you're going to want to do that right after it's done cooking in the oven. I really recommend letting it cool for about five minutes because it's going to be really hot and then stuff your containers with whatever it is you're looking for your desired shape with a little bit of cooking spray in it so it doesn't stick. Now we're going to check back in on this once everything's done cooling. Now our granola is all done cooling and it's time to utilize that parchment paper to help us transfer this into our container. So go ahead and just roll this up into a nice little funnel and simply dump it into your container. And here we are, the granola is all done and stored. Now in terms of that leftover parchment paper, it's relatively clean, didn't get burned, so I like to fold mine up and use it for the next batch. Now I just have to show you one of my favorite breakfast treats using this granola, so let's get to it. Now if you're looking to start your day off right, you're gonna to wanna to make some homemade cereal. So for that recipe, we're gonna add one hearty cup of granola, one banana, one half cup of fresh blueberries, and three strawberries. One and a half to two cups of almond milk. We're gonna mix in our fruit first to the granola just to kind of break everything up and get a nice mixture. And then we're gonna to top it off with our milk. Now if you would like to replace the almond milk with a yogurt or any type of medium, do it up. It's really just there to blend the flavors together. And here you have it, a nice, delicious, hearty bowl of cereal using your homemade granola. But wait, what if you don't have fresh fruit? Don't worry, this is a great change up for those extra hot days coming up, and I'll show you just how. Now we're starting off the same, a nice generous cup of granola, and we're going to add a little bit more than a quarter cup of frozen blueberries. And here we have another extra kitchen hack treat, one frozen banana. The frozen banana is a great kitchen hack because... You don't have to deal with fruit flies and you get a lovely sorbet texture from it. So just crush everything up and give it all a good mix. 
go ahead and add roughly a cup and a half of almond milk. And if you still haven't watched the almond milk video, what are you doing? Learn how to make this deliciousness yourself. And here we are, another nice tasty bowl of cereal with your homemade granola. This is the bee's knees. I hope you enjoy this snack, breakfast, and overall delicious, nutritious granola recipe. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you can, please share and hit the subscribe button. Slam that notification bell so you don't miss it on any future content from myself and Full Spectrum Performance. I love you so much. Let someone you know you love them. Take care. Most of this recipe is really cook time and rest time, so there's no rush into things. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> Peace.